vibrational divine loving blessings and greetings to each and every one of you beautiful souls out there oh man day three day three of juicing and and it's amazing it's amazing feeling great <clears throat> this video is really intended to inspire if you're watching this to really be inspired to take your life back even if you don't want to juice like rigidly but just start opening up to the abundance that is all around us because just a little bit these three days I feel so energetic I feel so alive I feel so present and I was telling my wife which I'm waiting for her to come back in because I mean her her resilience her determination really inspired me to do it because oh it's so easy to go you know even with the you know the vegan burgers and do all this stuff which is great because that's great that we have that option but I really wanted to, I desired and I felt a need to really catch my body up to where my awareness is stepping into. Because, because a lot of people don't realize that the body, it holds the memory of the past and it wants to relive what it thinks is our reality. So really, giving our bodies those live foods, it really tells the body, look, I'm loving you. I'm taking care of you. I'm trusting you. I'm here for you. And on an energetic level, we just show our bodies that we don't trust it because blessings, Fafi, Monet, thank you for joining. Um, thank you for your love and your support. I really appreciate you. Um, so the one thing is that it's, we were given this abundance and it's just amazing. And we don't take advantage of it. I mean, we really don't take advantage of it. And the more that I juice, the more I give to the plants, the more I give to the trees, and imagine if everybody juiced. Imagine if everybody just juiced one or two times a day. Imagine how much more compost or, or you know, the, the leftovers would be given back to the plants. I mean, really, we can transform this world overnight if we really took advantage of the blessings that are, that are around us. And... I just feel so great. I feel so present. I feel so like, I just can't explain it. Day three and I'm not even hungry. And this is the one thing that I wanted to share because it's like I've done these juice cleanses before. And to gain that mental discipline, to gain that mental clarity, to awaken the heart is so important because so many people juice or they eat healthy because they don't want to awaken through the foods. And I was just talking to my wife this morning that it's like we've done the inner work, that the juicing is just, it's an assistance, it's a reminder, it's not a crutch, it's not a dependency, because, I mean, I feel great not juicing, but my body sabotages me, which really that in, in retrospect is not even true, because the body doesn't sabotage me, I sabotage me, because I forget to be accountable and responsible for my body. Because it's a beautiful temple. It was given to us. And we need to care for it. We need to love it. Because if we don't care for it. If we don't love it. You know. We can say that we love life. We love. You know. Humanity. We love the earth. We love ourselves. But if we're putting things that are sabotaging our bodies. Then our bodies are only going to reflect that in our, in our life. So. It's like. I know I don't need to eat healthy. In the sense of awakening. Because. I mean. It's beautiful because I experience bliss and peace and love and I awake we that a wisdom awakens through me. I've become that conduit. But it's like when I'm in life, when I go show up in life, it's like the body wants to sabotage. Which again, let me repeat, the body is only doing what it's programmed to do of what we're putting into it and the thoughts that we think. Because yes, juicing is great. Drinking water, alkaline is great. Eating healthy is great. But if I'm not giving myself the wholeness, breathing holistically, thinking holistically, perceiving holistically, feeling holistically, eating holistically, living holistically, then there's going to be an imbalance. And that's where 
a lot of things start showing up. Excuse me, because the greatest abundance is here in the physical. And really, nature wants to bless us. Nature wants to love us. And nature needs us. We have a relationship with nature. And there's so much programming that we so easily give up on ourselves. And that's why we do what we do because it's like if I didn't have this strength to go into this juicing, I'd be hungry. I'd be wanting to eat something. I'd be looking for a reason and just say, you know what? I want to eat. Forget this. You know, I'll do this next week. I'll do this next month. I'll do this next year. But with this mental clarity, this mental awareness of awakening the heart, it's really giving me the strength, giving me that resilience, the reverence, the love, and the honor for myself that I've always had. But now I'm showing my body not just my soul, not just the brain, but I'm showing the body that I'm really committed to myself. So I just want to share that with you guys today. I'm waiting for Ali to show up, but she hasn't came. So she's talking to the neighbor. She's talking to the neighbors out here. You know how we love to share with people and love to serve. So anyways, I just want to share my thoughts with you today. Uh, day three of juicing, and I feel great. So if you're thinking about juicing, you know, get started. But if you need assistance with getting out of your own way so you can make this process much easier, because anything in life, it's how we do it. It's not what we do. Let me repeat that again. Whatever we do in life, it's how we do it, like where we do it from, not what we do. So intention is everything, guys. Love you. Blessings. Enjoy this beautiful, amazing day. Um, I don't know what the plan is because we had something come up. So I don't know if I'm going to be posting because I might be out of service. So if I don't post, please know that, you know, if I can inspire you to juice, if I can inspire you to take your life back, if I can inspire you and remind you to take your soul back because your soul has been so lost. Our souls have been so lost out there. We think we need to find ourselves out there. We think we need to you know, justify ourselves out there. We need to love ourselves out there. We need to seek validation out there. We're so confused as a society. And this is why we're seeing all these things show up. So it starts with you. It starts with you because you are a very important component in our world, in your world, which is our world that we share. So remember here at Samadhi, it's not about positivity, it's not about negativity, it's about authenticity, it's about rawness, it's about realness, it's about genuineness, it's about you, it's about time you take your life back, talking about genuineness, this is pure organic, pure love, pure life, but this is only a reflection, a minute reflection of the genuine, divine potential that you already are, so much love to you all, blessings, 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 from Ali and I, and I just want to give much appreciation and much love, much honor, much reverence, much value to my wife, because she has been an inspiration to me, and she makes it easy, she makes it easy, I'm going to be honest with you, because she makes delicious juices, and if you want to start, get a hold of us, we'll have Ali make some delicious juices, get you started on taking your life back, because don't wait for 2021. Don't wait for 2021 to again repeat the same old, same old thing that I'm going to do something different. Or don't wait for summer. Don't wait for another moment. Take your life back now. Because life is not going to wait. Life doesn't wait on us. Time doesn't wait on us. Right now, this moment is so precious. So take this moment and take your life back. Love you guys. Blessings, blessings, blessings to each and every single one of you beautiful souls out there. And I'll be checking in as soon as I can. And if not, we'll see you tomorrow. Blessings. Oh, I think I hear her. Um, she's still doing her thing. Love you all. Blessings. And thank you to our students. Thank you to our families. Thank you to all our, our friends, our, 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 our loving supporters and sponsors. And, and everyone who's been a part of our journey. Because without you, this wouldn't be possible. Every single life, every single moment. 
every single thing that we do, everything that we single thing that we don't do leads up to this moment. So I appreciate you all for inspiring me to to unfold a more genuine, more conscious, more alive version of myself that I hope and I intend to inspire you all to to answer that call. Because there's there's no other benefit but profound benefits. Because you can't overdose on loving yourself. You can't overdose on, you know, loving yourself, being present with yourself. Because you're just going to give more. You're just going to show up, serve, bless more. So thank you, everyone. Blessings. Make it a great day. Because you are great.